Hi, I'm Meg from Professional Music Technology and in today's video we will be taking a look at five of the best and most affordable solid top acoustic guitars. Now, as you may know, when it comes to acoustic guitars, the woods used are arguably the most important feature for affecting the tone. Having a solid top as opposed to a laminate top means the guitar has far more resonance and volume. It will also allow the wood to mature over time and the tone to get better with age, making it a very desirable thing to have. Whilst there are many high-end, all-solid acoustics out there, I wanted to focus in this video on solid top acoustics that are super affordable but still high quality. So if you are looking for your next acoustic guitar or even your first ever guitar, the five acoustics I'm going to look at today will all be great options to consider. First up, let's take a look at one of the most popular solid top acoustic guitars available, the Fender CD60S. So this guitar has been a flagship choice for acoustic guitarists for the last decade and with the updated version 3 model they remain just as popular today. A dreadnought acoustic with a full and rich sound, perfect for beginners all the way up to pro players looking for a great but low budget guitar. So let's go over some of the specs. As I mentioned this is a dreadnought acoustic which is the standard acoustic guitar body shape. Whilst the classic models feature a solid Sitka spruce top with a laminate mahogany back and sides, giving it that bright but rich tone from the spruce and mahogany pairing, this particular model features a solid mahogany top with laminate mahogany back and sides, giving this one a lot more warm and mellow tones. The scalloped X bracing they've used makes this guitar more responsive and allows for a lot more volume and bass than with a standard straight X bracing. It also has a mahogany easy to play neck with a walnut fretboard and rolled fretboard edges for extra comfort. This makes this an ideal choice for beginners. And on top of that, it also features high quality chrome die cast tuning heads, a black scratch plate and a high gloss finish to give it extra protection against the elements. All in all, this guitar would be an excellent choice for anyone looking for a great sounding and feeling acoustic, but at an affordable price point. The next guitar we'll be taking a look at today is the Yamaha FG800M, another staple when it comes to budget friendly solid top acoustic guitars. Much like the Fender we just mentioned, this is another dreadnought acoustic. And although this one features similar woods to the CD60S, it definitely offers its own distinct sound. So looking over the specs, this guitar has a solid spruce top with a laminate Akumi back and sides. If you weren't too familiar with what laminate means when it comes to guitar woods, laminate is a process where thinly veneered layers of wood are glued together to form a thicker layer of that wood. This allows the cost to be kept down whilst also making the guitar more durable. To look at the rest of the specs, it has a very playable NATO satin neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Overall, the guitar has a very sleek satin finish and with the high quality die cast chrome tuners and the tortoiseshell pick guard, it has a very authentic and traditional look.
So next up is the Tanglewood DBT SFCE, a versatile and super playable range of guitars that shouldn't be missed off our list. Unlike the first two I've mentioned, these guitars have a smaller body which Tanglewood call super folk, often also known as an orchestra body size. This gives these guitars a far brighter tone and more sparkle on the top end compared to the dreadnoughts mentioned. Plus, this size can be a lot more playable, making these a popular choice for beginners as well as fingerstyle and folk players. Running over the specs quickly, this particular model we are looking at features a solid spruce top with laminate of Van Kohl back and sides. A Van Kohl being a particularly balanced wood helps gives this guitar that bright sound. It also features an ebon core fingerboard with a walnut neck and a black walnut bridge. These guitars come with Tanglewood's TEQ 3BT built-in 3-band EQ pickup, including bass, treble and a built-in tuner, which makes these an excellent choice for gigging musicians. And lastly, the finishing touches of the soft black tuning heads, the understated sound hole rosette, the sleek white binding, all with that smooth satin finish, give this guitar overall a super luxury but comfortable feel. <laughs> model we'll be mentioning today is the Washburn WLO-10S, a great sounding and feeling guitar with a real traditional and sleek look. These guitars have been around for a good few years and have been a flagship acoustic in our stores for a high quality, great sounding but still affordable acoustic. This model is an orchestra sized acoustic meaning it is slightly curvier than the Dreadnought but it still has a great bass response. It features a solid spruce top with that classic laminate mahogany back and sides, as mentioned on a few of the models today. Washburn have used a cathedral peaked advanced scalloped X bracing, which really helps open up the resonance of the guitar. It also features a slim tapered satin finished mahogany neck with an Avanco fingerboard and bridge. As well as that, it also has a two-way truss rod running up the neck for extra control over the intonation and the action of this guitar. The finishing touches of the walnut and maple binding paired with the high quality die cast tuners and this beautiful rosette around the sound hole makes this one of the most stylish but rustic models we've looked at today. Definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Finally, the last guitar I'll be taking a look at is the Fender Newporter Player. Now this is probably my favourite out of the five I have mentioned. These guitars have been designed to be powerful instruments for those budding gigging musicians, as well as being an ideal first acoustic for those just starting up. They come fit with both a truly unique look as well as an excellent onboard Fishman preamp system. There are definitely a few key features that make this guitar stand out from the rest on our list, so I will run over the specs quickly now. Much like the previous few guitars mentioned, this guitar features a solid spruce top with laminate mahogany back and sides. This one with a unique Fender style sunburst finish. 
They are also available in a range of great looking colours including champagne and ice blue satin. That Newporter body shape, similar to an auditorium body shape, allows for a very balanced and full sounding guitar but with slightly more top end than the Dreadnought version. Fender have used optimised bracing on these guitars for reduced mass and superior resonance. It also features a super comfortable, slim tapered, C-shaped mahogany neck with a walnut fingerboard, making this ideal for beginners. It has a Graf Tech new bone nut and saddle used for greater sustain and a modern Viking bridge. And lastly, the three-ply gold scratch plate alongside the six-in-line authentic Fender style tuning heads and the poly high gloss finish makes this a truly unique, playable, but super stylish guitar. So that was a quick look at five of the best and most affordable solid top acoustic guitars. If you do want to find out any more information about any of the guitars I've mentioned today, head over to our website pmtonline.co.uk or you can pop down to your local PMT store and have a chat with one of our acoustic experts. The mic we've used on the guitars in these videos is the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure. You can also check that out over on our website. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like and subscribe to the channel. Head over to our socials at PMT House of Rock and give us a follow. I've been Meg and I will catch you in another video soon.